Hello and welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In our last video, we had discussed about double integrals, right? Can you check it out? Okay. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can change the order of integration. That means, let's say, if we are given with a limit for x variable, then how we can change it into the limit for y? So, let's begin with an example. You are given here, we are taking generalized form first of all and thereafter we will put some of the variables, I mean in our next successive videos, we will take some examples in place of uh, this function, okay? So let's begin. You are given with a question that you have to change the order for this integration. What is given to you is double integrals where first limit is varies, first limit varies from minus a to a second limit from 0 to root a square minus y square and the function is fxy and it these are you are integrating them with respect to this variable with respect to dx and dy okay so let's begin first of all find out which limit is for which variable you can see here this is in the form of a square minus y square that means it has y variable so this is the limit for x right and because it is the limit for x-axis, so it will be parallel to x-axis, okay? So, limit for x varies from this. Now, because it is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to root a square minus y square. If you take squaring both sides, you can see that it is forming an equation of circle, right? x minus h whole square, y minus k whole square is equals to r square. This is the general form of a circle. So, now h and k, which are the coordinates for center, h and k here is 0 and r is a. So, center is 0, 0 and radius is a. Because it is a circle, so let's make a circle whose center is 0, 0 and because radius is a, so a comma 0, right? x, y. Now, this is limit for x moving from 0 to root a square minus y square and rest is limit for y, right? From, uh, which is varying from minus a to a. Okay, now you have to change the order. First of all, as I told you, because this particular limit has y, that means it is a limit for x. And because it is a limit for x, that means it will be parallel to x-axis. Now, because you want to change, means question is asking us to change the order for integration. So, take another strip, because what we have initially is horizontal then now take vertical strip parallel to y-axis okay parallel to y-axis so you have to find out the points points here so now new limit after changing the strip for x now we can see that for this x is leading from 0 to a right but for y, limit for y, limit for y is from here to here, right? And because this equation is x square plus y square is equals to a square, so y from here will be root a square minus x square, correct? Because it is negative y and this is positive y, so limit for y varies from minus root a square minus x square to this. Okay? Now put these new values into the main equation, which was this. Okay, now you are substituting new values, new limits. So this is this is now moving from 0 to a. And this is from minus root a square minus x square to 
root a square minus x square fx y change the order dy and dx it can be anything this function can be anything maybe an equation of parabola an equation of line anything you have to just apply simply integration formulas and double integrals you can check it out check the video for double integrals um, which we did in our last session so this is how we can calculate uh, double integrals and we can change the order okay in our next video we'll discuss about an example till then take care and please don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you